What up, though? Y'all already know how it go. Smash, like, subscribe, comment. I don't care what you comment as long as you comment. You dig. Shout out to all my supporters. Numbers been going back up, so hopefully they continue to go because I've been consistent. I did the 30 videos. Actually, I did 34, but we ain't going to count the sh You know, we ain't going to count none of the shorts. Or, I, no, actually, I did 40, but none of the sh shorts I'm counting, none of the other stuff. But anyway, today, I'm going to tell you the top five most dangerous things you can do in prison. The top five most dangerous things you can do in prison. You know, if it wasn't these five, being a crip would, would be one of them for sure. Like, that's real dangerous. But number one thing is call somebody a homosexual who's not a homosexual or that you have no proof of. Because a guy will go to any length to disprove you and punish you for trying to put him on blast. Because if he belonged to an organization, right? If he belonged to an organization and they find out or they believe you, that could put him in danger, right? And he would lose a lot of credibility with people that he worked so hard to get the credibility with if he were one of those organizations that don't tolerate it at all, right? That's a bad look. Do not ever, 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 ever put that on somebody and you don't have proof. And even when you do have proof, it's still going to be very, very dangerous for you. You did because they'll be like, okay, well, we, we as group, we as, we, we as former brothers or as brothers, we want them off the yard. So we're just going to tell them what he said and, and how we found out. And we know that it to be true. And they'll sit back and they'll let you ponder on it. They'll play the little manipulation game. They'll look at you funny, distance themselves from you a little bit. And, you know, oh, meet me over here on the back floor. They want to talk to you. Then nothing don't happen. So you in your head, you like, oh, something might happen to me. I got to go punish dog because I don't want to do it to my brothers because I don't know if it's going to happen or not. So I got to go punish the guy who put me on blast. And that way they don't have to lift a hand. And you off the yard, and you get your punishment, and you be gone. So that's a that's a two for one situation. Get both of y'all gone. So anyway, you never ever 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 put homosexuality on somebody's name at all, unless you're willing to do something about it or have something done to you, right? Two, stealing. However you steal, whether it's you know, you go in somebody's room while they're not there, you breaking their foot locker, you call their people, you, you you see them dial their number, you remember their number, you call their people and ask them to send some money somewhere and they do it. That could be very, very dangerous for you. That money is a livelihood in there because once you eat at 5, 6 o'clock, ain't no more eating till 6 in the morning, homie. Stomach touching your back. That's why noodles and all that's so valuable and you hear people getting popped up over it. Don't do it at all stealing will get you hit telling or saying somebody a snitch and you have no paperwork or no proof i feel bad for you buddy these this this some of the common stuff that people should even know on the streets you know what i'm saying don't put the snitch stuff on nobody if you don't have the black and white it's the black and white is the paperwork the proof the real paperwork with the seal from the courts if that's not manifested, you can't put that on nobody's name. Even the person you tell might get at you about it because you putting falsehood out in the air on somebody they might love, had love for, or whatever, and you making it dangerous for them. You did what I'm talking about? So that's a big, 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 big old, big no. That snitch word is horrible, right? Don't talk to nobody's girlfriend or boyfriend like that, right? Do business with them, whatever. You know, y'all could be friends, but don't try to push up on them. If you do swing that way, don't try to push up on them behind their back because you're basically taking a woman. And it's, it's, it's really no women in men's prison, right? No biological women. Guards ain't really coming up off of it like that. That's all he got. That's all he got. This is his wife. This is the person he love, live, die for, eat till they ride out and somebody else come in that he can get. It's so much competition because that crowd is scarce, right? Especially the feminine ones that look like women. That, that, that's, that, they're an anomaly in that joint and, and they don't come across often. So when you got a dude, this is woman. Don't play with it. I'm telling you, it can, it can get real, 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 real dangerous. I wouldn't even, even hang around them too much even if i wasn't that way and i was just friends like that i wouldn't do it because you don't know how somebody speculate and in prison these are not guys that have a lot of rational thinking right putting something in your eye over a pack of noodles is common 
you, we're not dealing with normal individuals at all, okay? You better realize that. That's a no-no. Don't brush up on nobody else. So we got snitching out the way. We got stealing out the way. We got putting gay, uh, the, the, the title gay on people. Stealing, snitching, putting the title of gay on people, right? Here go another thing. Flipping. Flipping says that could really, 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 really get you messed up. Flipping says, particularly the bloods, you go from West Side Power Rule to Treetop Power Rule or from Treetop to Fruit Town, guys feel some type of way. Now, let's just say I'm a Fruit Town blood and there's only five of us on the yard and one of my members flipped to 82 bloods and it's 30, 82s on the yard. Nothing might not happen. But when the number's even or, you know, the the, the fruit towns clicked up with three, four other sets and, you know, the number's even or whatever, and there's already some type of division there, people feeling some type of way, you're going to get your noodles knocked off going from, like, Vice Lord to, to, to the GD. They be hating that. I'm talking about they be hating it. Hate it. And don't have the police in nobody's business at all. At all. They think you're snitching, they ain't trying to listen. They'll be waiting in your kitchen, waiting to start hitting. For, for real. None of that. Hope y'all enjoyed this video, man. I just wanted to inform y'all on some, on some treacherous things that you could do in prison. That really, really, really. And another thing that probably should have been like is... uh. Now, I'm going to do that for another video. I'm going to tell y'all some of the weirder stuff that I come across. Peace and blessings.